Television is a telecommunication medium used for transmitting moving images in monochrome or in color or in two or three dimensions and sound. From its slow start in World War II to the premiere of I Love Lucy to new advances being made every day technologically, television will advance and continue to advance to be a major product in households worldwide. Radio was a great form of telecommunications that was very popular, but of course visuals add a whole new depth and element to communications. In early times, sending pictures using electricity was divided into two ways, mechanical scanning and electronic scanning. Mechanical, invented by John Logan Baer, developed the mechanical scanning system to send live televised images. The British Broadcast Corporation, known as the BBC, adopted the system and began broadcasting television programs in 1936. As they focused on this, the United States was on to something else. Philo T. Farnsworth invented electronic scanning. Through 2009, Analog NTSC National Television Standards Committee used 525 lines. Now digital televisions can go up to 1080 pictures per frame, famously known as 1080p. John Logie Baird's system produced a measly 30p if translated into current times resolution. After a lot of work and development, electronic television made its debut at the New York World State Fair in 1939. RCA president introduced television, and former president Franklin D. Roosevelt gave the first presidential television address from the New York World Fair. Commercial television continued to make strides, and right when it was ready to take off in 1941, it lost the battle of supply and demand with the limit of supplies that could be used for World War II. After the war, TV picked up, but at a very slow pace. In 1945, there were only six television stations on air. Three years later, the number moved up to only 16. This was due to the lack of technology, the cost, and the lack of public support. This license in pro-World War II was very overwhelming for the FCC. That is when the big freeze came into place, only to be resolved three and a half years later by the sixth report in order, which was signed on April 15, 1952, officially ending the big freeze. UHF converters and VHF tuners rivaled each other because most TV sets could only receive one or the other. Eventually, Congress passed the All-Channel Receiver Act in 1962, which mandated that manufacturers of televisions have the capacity so television units can receive both types of stations without a converter. Despite this, the UHF was still thought of as inferior. Eventually, color TV came into play. RCA and CBS both developed their own.